Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play E6. Last time, we started the final dungeon and then finished it. This time, we're going to start off by heading out to Port Remorge. Uh, there's one thing I want to do here. you notice we're missing a few accessories. We're missing a few accessories. Uh, and our strongest armor, for that matter. Um, what I want to do, actually, first is head over to here. And you want to give her 100,000 email ass to make the most powerful armor in the game. Emilis armor. This armor. Next thing you want to do is temper. I'm going to temper my other sword. And so in this episode, next thing I want to do is head up to here. Oh, first thing you want to do is equip the Amalus armor. Because now you don't need this thing anymore, which is quite nice. And you're going to get an item better than that anyway right now. Come in here and talk to this guy. Let's read the tabula. The blue tabula. My life is this mortal realm, and my this mortal realm nears its end. But before the blackest darkness closes my eyes and welcomes me into its eternal embrace, I wish to record the memorial memories that have been seared into my mind, lest they be forgotten. To be forgotten. These are memories of the time we read us spent living alongside Alma in the land of Canaan. Canaan, of the peaceful, harmonious days, her protection allowed us as well as the dark calamity that brought them to an end. The events I inscribed he have long been confined to this realm of ancient history. Yet here I stand, the last Retta to behold Alma's living form with my own eyes. Such tinnitus yet malleable material as Imolith should prove the perfect medium to ensure the survival of these records in my perpetuate perpetuity. Dear reader who seeks to challenge the darkness, I pray that my words may help you light your path. You want to read the red tabula now? Firstly, I must write the of the emul emulus, which I used to inscribe these records. Emulus is a crystalline fiber spun from a rock called emil. Employing a technology bestowed to us by Alma upon her arrival from Elden, the land of the gods. In that land, all is made from Imolus. It is wood, it is steel, it is even the womb itself. In a cauldron of unfreezing water, various colors of Imolus are spun, accumulating in the black Imolus of power and the white Imolus of life. Black Imolus can mimic the function of all the other colors while white emulus holds the ability to commune with the black. Eventually, the black emulus can create a great protector of the ocean, while radiating white becomes the wings that project from the god's back. Next, I must also write of the tailless ones, who lived in this land as followers of Alma much like ourselves. They were wise and ambitious, and followed Alma's teachings. They learned to spin emuls of their own, Having mastered the three basic colors, they sought to create black and white emulus. Yet Alma steady, steadfastly refused to impact such wisdom upon them. The power of black emulus is terrifying, you see, and those without wings would have no means to control it. This was not enough to sway the tailless ones, however. They, decided, they dedicated themselves tirelessly to researching in their cave. Yet, try as they might, the day never came when they would behold the, that jet black sheen with their own eyes. The emulus that emerged from their cauldron was neither black nor white, but ashen in color. Black Tabula. Next, I must write of the disaster that fell before the land of Canaan, that befell the land of Canaan, as well as the ark built of black emulus. The jet black ark, said to have been created by Alma herself, possesses possessed the power to calm the wind and the waves and brought a seemingly limitless peace to Elden. Yet nothing is truly without limits. The tailless ones sought to unravel the secret of the Black Emilus, and in their folly, they sneaked upon the Ark with intent to control it. Without the radiance of White Emilus at their disposal, however, 
The ark fell into madness, and the sea raged. The power that had long maintained peace now began to rain destruction upon the lands in its change. By the time Amma had come to the ark's anger, only the highest points remained. The one, that once great cannon had become a chain of islands. Its lowlands drowned beneath the water's surface, and with them, Amma has lost, was lost as well. With one final check on the safety of the surviving Greta, who had been steadfastly loyal and true to her, she spread her wings wide and returned to the heavens, leaving only a white figure in her wake. All had been lost, but the tale does not end here. The high waves created by the calamity reached as far as the distant land of the gods. Many elected to return to the heavens, as Alma had, while others chose to guide the Retta and the tailless ones to, to a new land in which they could live. We, the Retta of Canaan, chose to remain on these newly created islands in order to protect Alma's soul from harm. Soon I, too, will be carried off to the Holy Land, embraced by those wings of white. My memories of the past feel distant, while my impending twilight grows closer by the move moment, yet I am not afraid. Darkness is all but a stepping stone on the path to a new dawn. Dear reader, may all my gently, gentle blessing be with you always, until the seas of canon are tranquil once more. You appear to have gathered all the tabulae. I feel as though the bonds of the atonement that astonished me have weakened slightly. At all. Would you be willing to give me this tab you left to me? Yes. Thank you, At all. It's not much, but I'd very much like you to accept this in exchange. Its value pales in comparison to that of these tabula, but it will surely be of some use to you. The winged god emblem. This item is really freaking good. It makes all of your items. The ruined earrings, the, the the magic talisman, siphon boots, silver armor, makes them all useless. This prevents all status abnormalities. Of course I am going to equip that. Alright, um, next up. Actually, now I'm going to equip the lucky silver coin. Next up. Um, I'm going to head to the entrance of the ruined city of Kishkill. You remember those three optional bosses we took on? Well, they're back. And they are better than before. We're gonna go take them on again. Because we're still missing three inventory slots. The first one, and the easiest in my opinion, is out this way. And plus, it'll help us get closer to 100,000 G. But I'm going to have to do a lot of that grind off screen. So, I'm not going to even show, like, the swords being upgraded to their final level. But you need 100,000 G, 100,000 M loss for each final sword upgrade. If that makes sense. But out here is the first one. But since I got so much defense now, he doesn't stand a chance against me. Again, keep your Starlight Medallion equipped for this because... Level up will be really good.
The Imilis Crown. That is a pretty good item. I'm going to say... You don't really need the Lucky Silver Coin, but you're going to want to equip that. That'll increase your HP to 5... That'll give you a 50% increase in HP. Really damn good. Entrance of, La of Granamalas Mountain is next. So, again, gonna want to use your uh, electric sword for this one. The, uh, what's the name of it again? Uh, the, uh, Arisil. We're at a point, though, where these enemies are not difficult at all, which is nice. One thing you're going to want to do, and be ready for, I definitely consider this the hardest of the three ones. If you don't have, so the one thing I will tell you is having that like that will be a good enough thing. Go ahead and grab the chest over here and we'll obtain the Emilis Gloves. Go ahead and equip those as well. I'm going to replace uh, the uh, bloody nails. That one is not the best one, actually. But that one will let you... Uh, then you want to warp to the lime water. Anyway, warp, warp, warp to the lime water cave midpoint. Again, for those of you who don't remember the path to this one, I'm gonna go ahead and equip. Hey, what do I get rid of? It doesn't matter. I can. No, no, never mind. I'm not worried about it. For this one. These guys can't even hurt me, so it's not a big deal. But I'm pretty sure you guys remember the optional boss in here. And this one... will give you... The, uh... What is it? God, these enemies can barely even hurt me. One damage at most. Nice. Look how powerful we become. But in here is the blob from the hit video game, the blob. I don't think he's really from the hit video game, The Blob, but... You know, you can't make a joke on here without some guy being like, He's not from the hit video game, The Blob. The Emulus Guards. That, I believe, was the actual good item. No, it wasn't. Yeah, those ones are alright then. Okay, now no, I'm thinking about something else entirely. Okay. Um, alright. That should be every single equip item. Yep, that's every single equip item. And our inventory should look something like this. So the only thing we really got left to do 
which I'm not going to do on screen, is import remorge. Um, we're going to want to increase our, uh, we're going to want to power up our swords to their max level. That's going to take me a grinding session. I don't think any of you want to see that. So... I will meet you guys back at the entrance of the final dungeon. At the, at the